From News 19, I'm meteorologist Daniel Bonds. Hurricane Gedalia did make landfall earlier this morning, officially making landfall at 745 this morning near Keaton Beach in Florida. Made landfall as a Category 3 storm with winds of 125 miles per hour, so a powerful storm, but it was slightly weaker. It was a Category 4 storm earlier today, so slightly weaker, and it's gotten even a touch weaker since making landfall. Here's the 8 o'clock advisory. It does have winds of 120 miles per hour, so still a very dangerous storm with gusts up to 160. It is moving towards the north-northeast at about 18 miles per hour, and the pressure has risen just slightly since making landfall. And that will be the case as it continues to kind of interact with land. It should continue to weaken and the pressures should continue to rise. Here's the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. No real wholesale changes as it continues to move generally towards the north, northeast, and eventually turning more towards the east off the South Carolina coast as it does expectedly at least to weaken to a tropical storm at that point, but still a very strong storm. And here's a kind of a closer look towards the Carolinas and Georgia. Notice the cone of uncertainty, pretty small at this point. So looks like things are in line with the forecast as of right now. So we'll have to continue to monitor those changes. Here are the spaghetti models and they're all in pretty good agreement until you get towards the end of the work week and into the weekend. There is some little bit of uncertainty, but as of right now, it stays away from the continent of the United States once it moves off the coast. So far, we've had 10 storms, three hurricanes, two major hurricanes, obviously Idalia, the major hurricane, or at least the last major hurricane, and it is going to cause us some issues here across the Palmetto State. Here is our forecast model. Pick things up at 2.30. Notice the rain out there. 3 o'clock, that rain continues. Heavy downpours possibility for some flooding. That's really the major thing that we're going to be watching throughout the day and this evening and even as we go into tonight, maybe very early Thursday morning as well. This will be 8 o'clock and then 9 o'clock. The rain does start to diminish over in the western half of the Midlands. Still have the heavy downpours in the eastern half and then as we get to about midnight or so, you notice as the storm continues to move a little bit off our coast, those rain chances do decrease. Small chance for maybe a little bit of rain very early Thursday, but by the time most of us wake up Thursday morning, the rain is out of here and the clouds will start to decrease. It'll still be a bit breezy tomorrow, but look at this forecast for Thursday afternoon looking good. And it looks like Friday is going to be pretty pleasant as well. So kind of have something to look forward to. Our weather will start to improve. As far as that tropical storm force wind chance, High chances, especially down in the low country of South Carolina. You notice Charleston, Walterboro, Hilton Head. Now you get a little bit closer to the Midlands, the odds of tropical storm force winds does decrease a little bit, but we still do have some watches and warnings in effect for parts of the Midlands. Once again, here are the overall chances for those tropical storm force winds. Manning, as of right now, appears to have the highest chance, Bishopville. A little bit of a chance there, Orangeburg, St. Matthews, and that's kind of right in line with the tropical storm warning. Sumter, Clarendon, Calhoun, Orangeburg, and Aiken in this tropical storm warning. So you're talking about winds possibly up to 57 miles per hour or so. Tropical storm watching effect for Lee, Kershaw, Richland, Lexington counties, and even in Fairfield, Newberry, and Saluda could have some gusty winds, but officially no watches or at least no tropical watches or warnings in effect for that part of the Midlands. Hurricane watch in effect for Berkeley and Charleston. Hurricane warning in effect for Coastal Colleton, Buford, and Jasper counties. So do have a ton of watches and warnings in effect for the Palmetto State. As the system continues to make its way through Georgia and into at least the coastal region of South Carolina, this area here in yellow, that's going to be the area we'll have to watch for the possibility for some tornadic activity. Typical for landfalling tropical systems in the northeastern quadrant of the storm, that's where you would expect tornadic activity. You can see the wind risk there, tropical storm force winds, obviously a risk for that part of the Palmetto State and the Midlands as well. Heavy rainfall, still the big story it looks like. This is one of our forecast models indicating anywhere from three to eight inches of rain. We may get some areas a little bit more than that. If this thing shifts a little bit more towards the north or a little bit more towards the south, this higher band can shift as well. So don't get too caught up in the numbers or the bands, but know there is that threat for some heavy rainfall that would lead to some flooding. 
Here's another one of our forecast models showing anywhere from about three to six inches of rain. You notice those areas in white, those will be some heavier amounts. And then as you kind of get into the upstate and maybe the extreme northwestern half of the Midlands, those rain opportunities do drop a touch. But it's this red area here that we'll be watching closely for the highest chances for those flooding issues. And as we mentioned, most of South Carolina under a flood watch at this point, with the exception of parts of the upstate. So flooding is obviously a big time danger and a concern. You definitely do not want to drive through flooded streets. Half of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Only six inches of water is enough to lose control of your vehicle and 18 to 24 inches of fast moving water can carry a large vehicle away. So certainly old saying is turn around, don't drown. You don't want to drive through flooded streets. You don't want to even want to walk through flooded streets. More watches and warnings. This is a storm surge warning in effect for the low country of South Carolina and you can kind of see it there it does not necessarily involve us here in the Midlands, but certainly if you have interest along the coastal region of South Carolina, it, it may be of interest to you. What to expect here in the Midlands? Heavy rainfall, flooding possible today, breezy conditions, some clouds tomorrow, but our weather's going to improve tomorrow and Friday's looking good and the weekend is looking good as well. So that's something to kind of look forward to. Edelia is not the only thing out there. If it weren't for Edelia, we'd be talking about Franklin. Franklin was a major hurricane. It has weakened. Here's the latest from the National Hurricane Center. It does have winds of 110 miles per hour with gusts up to 130. Here are all the names so far, and obviously Edelia is our last one. Jose would be our next one. Here are all the tracks so far. Been an active season, and we're watching two other areas as well in the tropics. This one coming off the western coast of Africa. Hurricane Center gives it a moderate chance of further development and a low chance for this one to develop out here in the central Atlantic. We also do have tropical depression number 11 out there, but as of right now, it does not look like it's going to develop into anything. Temperatures today topping off in the upper 70s and low 80s. We're going to be tracking the tropics all day long, heavy downpours possible flash flooding. Our weather improves. Something to definitely look forward to and enjoy. Mid 80s, Saturday, Sunday. Notice these morning lows, possibly in the low 60s. Labor Day, upper 80s to near 90 degrees. The coastal forecast, obviously the rain today, showers tomorrow, they'll kind of linger. Weekends looking great if you're heading to the beach, if you're heading to the upstate. Mountains, looking great too over the weekend, so no issues there. Things will be heating back up. Here's our eight to 14 day temperature outlook, September 6th through September 12th. We're expecting warmer than normal conditions, but the big story today, obviously, Hurricane Idalia, as it continues to make its way towards the Carolinas and the Palmetto State, does have winds of 120 miles per hour with gusts up to 160. We'll get a full advisory at 11 o'clock this morning.